closet. I love love. I just love that for me. I'm gonna do the scut shop. It's kind of like the other Leah's heart I have. Grocery haul. Ugly love from Colleen Hoover. There's a big difference between you and my side. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Monday. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Monday, everybody. I'm just in the kitchen this morning because it's actually quite cold. So I'm going to make myself a hot drink before I get to work. I think I'm going to have the Neapolitan one. Ne Neapolitan. I actually know how to say that. But anyway, the ones with like the different flavours. And I'm going to have my breakfast. Over the weekend, I only was having like two meals a day. So I'm going to try and get back into my three meals a day. There is a cyclone coming and the weather doesn't look too good and it is quite cold today. So I might not be able to get three walks in, but I'll definitely try and get a walk in. I'm just going to have mama and Tom. It's a busy week. This weekend is going to be a real busy weekend as well. It's my friend's birthday today. We're having this like picnic thing for her, which I'm so excited about. I'm using the banana for you. I got these a few years ago on Valentine's clearance, I think. Also, it's Valentine's Day tomorrow. I don't know how I feel about it. I love how you just can't see what I'm doing, but I am making stuff. I am doing things. Right now, I'm really grateful for just the life that I'm living. Like, yes, it would be so nice and I want nothing more than to have someone in my life that I can celebrate these things with. But I think at the end of the day, I can't I can't expect that to happen like overnight. And like, I know that the right one in the future will celebrate Valentine's Day with me. So I'm kind of just like, I've just gotta have that mindset. I don't know. I can't say I had like the greatest Valentine's Day when I was with someone anyway. They were never really made out to be like this big thing. Like nothing was ever really planned. I don't know. And it depends on like how you see Valentine's Day. Like sometimes people don't celebrate it. And that's totally fine as well. I love love. And I would love to celebrate. Unfortunately, I just don't have anyone to celebrate with. So it's fine. I am over it. Mm -hmm. A little bit. I'm about to start work, but I have got my marmite and toast with my vitamins, my hot chocolate. So I'm going to enjoy my breakfast and start work, and I will check in with you guys later. Good morning, everybody. Happy Valentine's Day. Isn't it wild that it's already two weeks into February? I'm up early this morning. It's nearly 5.30. I'm just going to do a quick tidy of the kitchen before I head to work I'm early today. I got up and I had a shower and I did my affirmations and stuff this morning and I don't actually feel too bad. I think I probably only got about maybe six and a half hours sleep. So feeling all right. I'm going to start work at 5.30 today. So I'm going to quickly empty my dishwasher and then head on to work watch me unload my dishwasher for the a hundredth time We need to eat. I really like what I'm wearing today, but this gets quite like a cheat in this part. Anyway, whew, I'm tired. Kind of was feeling it when I was working a little bit, but. This one, oh, this one's worse than the ginger. Normally it's the other way around. And used by the 4th of March, so we're still within the time frame. And I had Nutella on toast this morning. Normally I have Marmite and cheese, but I was feeling not like cutting cheese, to be honest. And I haven't done any shopping. I don't have, like, I need to get more Marmite and I just don't have a lot of stuff. So I'm just trying to use all of the stuff that I have. Um, day. There is currently a cyclone that's, like, hitting the North Island of New Zealand. It's gone a little bit crazy. Crazy, like, COVID, like, the supermarkets. Like, there's no, like, toilet paper and stuff left. Um, so I just want to avoid the supermarket at all costs because it's going to be super busy. Like, natural disasters are scary. I can't deal with 
with it. It's just too overwhelming. Good morning. I haven't done groceries, so I'm honestly going to write a grocery list because I really need some food. Gonna get it not delivered, but clue clue. Last night in a really decent sleep, actually. I didn't wake up until quarter to six this morning. So I felt like that was pretty solid. I'll hopefully have a grocery haul for you within this vlog. I know this vlog hasn't been the best, but I hope you guys have a good Thursday and I'll chat with you soon. Happy Friday. I just cleaned my whole entire house. I would have liked to do a little bit of a deeper clean. I got most of it all done. I even mopped. It's amazing. It's so nice to be able to talk to the camera and not feel stressed. Today has been such an awesome day. I just love that for me. I'm so happy for me. Work was really good today as well. So feeling very good about everything. But I even fed all of my plants too, which normally I just put off. I love having a clean home makes me feel so much better living in the state that I was living in like leaving all of my curtains like my bedroom shut and wasn't making my bed I just wasn't showing up for myself in the way that I like to and I've also haven't been eating at all the last couple of days I haven't been on any walks this week which is a real pain hopefully after the weekend I can just focus a little bit more I'm going to relax because my friend Elise is coming over for dinner and I will chat with you guys probably tomorrow good morning everybody 6 21 in the morning. I had a really great night last night with my friend. Yeah, hopefully today is going to be a really good day as well. I need to brush my teeth, have a shower and do my affirmations for my morning. Hopefully vlog a little more today than what I have been in the past couple of weeks. So I do really apologise about the lack of content. Yeah, you fine in the morning, call my eyes too. But there's a big difference between you and my side do. No battery. God. There was such a chaotic clip before. <laughs> I brought this from Glasson's the other day. It's kind of like the other leotard I have um, from there, apart from it's just got like this boob cut out. My makeup. <laughs> this is what my outfit does look like. And then I'm just going to wear some white pomers. I think it looks alright. I could have done better with my hair. I definitely think that I could have done better. But it looks alright for the most part. Finally got a good summer day today. So I'm super happy about that. I'm just not keen for this to be so booby. But I guess that's kind of what I pay for, right? See if I end up liking it. Am I going to the supermarket hungry? Yes. Will I regret that? Probably. Earlier in the week, I said that I was going to get groceries, but I never did. I don't want to go into the store. Since click and clicking, can't think of anything worse. I need to because I'm literally surviving off nothing. My bags, two bags should be enough. I'm going to, by the, I think by the time you're watching this, I will already be in Rarotonga. So I'm only really buying food from Monday to through to Friday. So I'm just thinking just one meal to kind of do the whole week, which I'm just thinking pizza, but I am going to Countdown instead of New World. They are a little bit cheaper. It's only like 7.30 in the morning. I'm so super grateful that I'm probably gonna hopefully go when they're just opening so not like a super busy time. $100 a fortnight. I went over by $3. Funny enough, I brought things only for the week. I'm 
super happy with what I did pick up because I picked up some few extras. I went down every single aisle and I was like, oh shoot, I need that. Oh shoot, I need that. Or I should pick more of that up. So I'm glad I did that because although I spent like three dollars over budget and I only brought like a meal for a week, I've got a lot of extra stuff which is quite nice. I would have had to pick that up next week anyway. First thing is I got some apple juice. So I picked up some spinach, grain waves, blueberries, ham, dumplings, cheese, broccoli, toilet paper, friskies, muffins, bread, wrap, two of the pizza paste tomato and herb sachets, marmite, duck thing. And then this is kind of where all of my extra, like the extra things went. I got some hand wash for the bathroom. I also realized when I cook my roasties, I don't have tomato or aloe, so I picked those up. And then I picked some extra things up and I picked up some natural mouthwash. It was on clearance for like six bucks. And then I got some Grin Dental Floss Picks. I don't floss and I know that's really bad, but I just am so uncoordinated. My dentist like laughs at me when they try and teach me how to like floss. So I thought I would pick some of those up. They are like a necessity, but something that I just don't normally pick up on the regular. Because I went to a different shop, there are like different wraps and stuff. I managed to get 10. Normally the other pack comes in six. Oh, okay. So it does. It gives you different options. So you can use this for a quesadilla, a pizza base, fresh wrap or grilled wrap. That's good to know that they are, you know, can be designed for those. I chose to go with ham instead of salami like I usually do because salami is quite, it produces a lot of oil and so it's quite messy. I wanted to try this. And blueberries were on sale. Just trying to like justify my purchases really. Anyway, I'm going to put all of this away. some potatoes for chips for the week maybe for like some lunches Good afternoon. It's a little while later now. I am just actually coming on here to talk to you about a bit of a book. Called Ugly Love from Colleen Hoover. This morning has been so good. I hung out two loads of washing, did my dishwasher, which has just gone off so I can empty that now. Folded my washing that I got in a couple of days ago, or, my, or yesterday, I think. And then I vacuumed and like tidied my house and made my bed. I've had a really, really productive morning and I did a little bit of meal prepping as well. Obviously you saw. I think I'm going to end the vlog here. I'm so sorry that lately the vlogs just haven't been. I know my vlogs are not always the best but lately I just feel like I haven't been giving them my all. I really do apologize about that but I hope that you guys enjoyed this nonetheless. I'm going to talk about the Colleen Hoover Ugly Lover. I'm not going to like spoil it or anything um but I just want to talk about how I felt about it. If you're not interested in hearing about my review of the book I hope you guys have a great day or night review maybe. But yeah if you are interested stick around. I brought this a few months ago. I brought this in 2022. The first time I tried to read it wasn't really into it. Couldn't like hook myself into it. I want to say like a few weeks ago I truly dove into this book and the first night I watched I read like eight chapters and then it kind of was just a slow process for me and I finally finished it yesterday. I want to say this tug on my heart and I think it's because the love that they share these two particular characters share is very similar in my like personal life. I don't cry at movies. I don't really cry in like lovey-dovey things like that you people watch on TikTok and they're like, oh my god, I bawled my ass out. I don't really cry. I don't really do that. I don't really cry at the end of TV shows. I don't. That's just not me. But I cried so much in this book and I think it because it just relates so much to my personal life right now. There are so many beautiful moments in this book. It's quite a wholesome book to be, to truth be told. I really do like it. It's not my favourite Colleen Hoover book. I haven't read a whole heap of Colleen Hoover books, but I've read a few. Like, for example, Verity was like five stars for me. I would reread that again. I probably wouldn't reread this again. Maybe if I was in a better mental headspace, I would. But definitely still give it like a 
3.5. I really did enjoy the book and the way it was written was really like it was obviously well written. It's Colleen Hoover, of course it's gonna be. I think you should definitely read it though. Like I definitely would recommend it to somebody. A bit sad. And I found because they're like written and I don't know how to explain it. Like every chapter was a different character. There's two characters that are like it's written in, like the chapters are written in. The things that like is from the male's character's perspective really had me like, oh I wanna find out more, I wanna find out more. That kept me hooked. Um and then the plot twist was obviously quite um, intense. Nonetheless, I think you guys should read it. I definitely wouldn't read it again with how I feel emotionally. I have a few books that my friends are recommending or wanting me to read. Um, so when I go to Rarotonga, hopefully I can take a few books and read some more. But definitely, I'm so gl glad that I finally finished my first book of 2022 because I wanted to read 12 books this year. That is all for this weekly vlog. Thank you so much for coming along. By the time this is up, I'll be in Rarotonga, but I'm trying, I hope, I can't guarantee but I hope that I will have like a little Rarasonga pack with me for the next video and then the next video will obviously be another weekly vlog. I hope you guys have a great day, a night review maybe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.